Thoughts on the iFlight Afterburner? Asks Bro Wild. Thank you for another $5 super chat, Bro Wild. Looks hella interesting. The iFlight Afterburner. Um, let's have a look. The iFlight Afterburner is a new cinema-focused drone from iFlight. They make a point of saying, did they say it here? Not a freestyle drone. If you fly this like a freestyle drone and crash it into a wall at 70 miles an hour, it will break. It is not a basher. It's designed for professional pilots who use their FPV drones for cinematic work, aerodynamics, and balance. And you can see what they've done here is they've got vertical arms to help reduce the drag and a canopy. Well, I don't know how, how good aerodynamics are going to be there, especially once you put a camera on top. It's a cool little drone. I have to say this style of frame has always annoyed the shit out of me because like in order to build it, and I, I don't know the uh, afterburner specifically, but like I can see that what you do is you you put the arm in this little slot here, and in this little slot here, and then as you sandwich it between the top and the bottom plate. That's that's how these always are, and that gives you a lot of rigidity. You get this triangle bracing and rigidity, but it's such a pain in the ass to build and maintain. The second, like, if you have to get inside a frame like this to do maintenance, if you take the top plate off, all the arms just go bleh and fall off. Now, maybe iFlight has done something clever to address this. But in general, I have stayed away from this type of frame in the past because it's such a hassle to maintain. Hello. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. How do we maintain this? Does this bottom plate just lift off? Like it looks like here is maybe the uh, video transmitter. Where's the flight controller? Does it drop? Does it lift out? Do all when I put it back together? Do, how do the arms go in? I don't know. Why would I use that instead of a normal dead cat? Well, good question. I mean, it, this is more central. It's more uh, symmetrical. So you may find that the handling is a little better. It's not going to be more durable. It might be lighter. It might be lighter than a dead cat style. I don't know. Yeah. Cinematic. Somebody on the internet today said freestyle is dead. Cinematic is where it's at. 